Hey buddy, it's Crazy Good Time 4 and welcome to a brand new first play where today we'll be playing Fire Emblem Awakening for the Nintendo 3DS. I uh, just recently actually got a copy of this game, finally. I was, I've been wanting to get a copy of the game um, and I've basically waited too long. But I finally did it, finally got a copy and I'm very excited to play it, especially since I hear that this game is really good. I hear it's, usually people say it's like one of the best, if not the best, entry in the series. So that makes me very excited um, to see what this game has to offer. Um, but you know Fire Emblem, if you guys saw my uh, first play of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, my first play of Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade, and I think the Sacred Stones first play came out before this. I'm not sure yet, I have to, I have to see. Um, but yeah, Fire Emblem, it's a, you know, it's a JRPG role-playing game, you get to play a game as guys, as like, as merc it's kind of like a team thing where you move across the map and then you can either wait, you can fight enemies, you have a whole team. It's also a thing of like, if your opponent, if your ally dies or if you die, you know, then it, it's kind of like game over or like they can't be used anymore. So, it, you know, it's kind of uh, more risky than Pokemon. If, it, if anything, it's more of a Pokemon Nuzlocke, it's, it, but just like, within the actual game than just like a challenge that people you know do just to have some fun but yeah i'm very excited to see how this game is um the game that's apparently what's it called i guess in a way rebranded the series and just made it better because i hear the previous two games like the ones that came out before this were not like super hot um but like this game just you know made the game made the series come back and pe made people love it again so let's see what, what this game has to offer. There's a little bunch of like classes that it's kind of showing us right now. Um, oh, there's my boy Krom. If you guys remember Krom, you know from Smash, he's a fantastic character, one of my favorites. Oh, I guess that that is well of them. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into it and uh, and see how this goes. So let me see. Continue. Is that really a thing? All I know is that I'm gonna do new game because even if there is a save file, this is pre-owned. Um, I haven't had a chance to really delete any save uh, any save data if there is any save data for this. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a new game. Um, ooh. There's normal, hard, and freaking lunatic. I love the fact that lunatic is a difficulty. That, that actually makes me chuckle a little bit. Do I want normal or hard? Because I'm not exactly experienced, but I'm not exactly a beginner. You know, what? I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna go normal. I tend to go like normal difficulty, um, when I ever play games, anyways. Fallen units return. You can save anywhere. That's the casual mode. Then the classic mode is units are lost forever. Each decision counts. Ooh, do I want casual? Or do I want classic? Classic, I mean, will be just like how Fire Emblem naturally is. So you know what, frick it. We'll go classic. Make the game a little more challenging. Maybe it's maybe I'm being stupid, but anyways. So uh, this is the uh, the avatar you have. Um, in the previous games that we played, there wasn't really, you know, a full on avatar that you can make. It was just like one character that you just are, and you kind of like control everyone, like how they move and whatnot. This time around, we actually have a full on avatar we can make. So this is pretty cool. Of course, you know, gonna go with the male. Um, this character in Smash is called Robin. I wonder if that's his actual name uh, in the game, or if that's just something that's just like deep. I don't know exactly the history of Robin, but let me see. Oh, oh, you can make him. Oh, what the heck? Um, I guess, well, I guess I'm just gonna make, you know, standard Robin. Face-wise, uh, I like that, okay, there's a few. I might just go with this one, just a standard one. Hair, ooh, I don't know if, ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, this one looks kinda nice. I don't know, I'm kind of a sucker for just regular, uh, good old-fashioned hair Robin. Oh, hair color, though? Ooh, I can get that chrome color in. But not too much. It's a shame that... Ooh, I do like the blue, though. It's a shame that uh, you can't have the alternate costumes that Robin has in Smash. Because there's this one where it's, like, blue hair and, like, the blue robe and whatnot. It looks so cool. Um, but I think I'm just going to keep everything standard uh, for voice. Let's do it. Okay. It's my fault. Okay. Nicely done. Okay. We can do it. Okay, so there's three voices. What, what? Let's do it. Nicely done. It's my fault. Thanks. 
Thanks. Let's do it. I could just give everything net neutral. Why the heck not? That's, that's the way I'm gonna rock it. So let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so yeah, the default name is Robin. We're just gonna continue calling him Robin. So that's what it is. Uh, sure. Um, birthday. Uh, what do I want to have like everything neutral? I mean, I might as well. This stuff doesn't really matter, I guess. Asset and flaw. So it's like what they're better at, I guess. Asset HP flaw luck. Okay, so for flaw, maybe I want to. Uh, I don't know. I want to be lucky. But I guess we'll just keep that as that. Assets? Eh, fine. We'll just keep everything neutral. Uh, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just a bland person, but we're, we're keeping everything neutral. Uh, so oh, what the frick? I, oh yeah, we had to save the progress. So I guess let's start. Let's do the very top one. Let's uh, save the progress there and just make a whole new uh, save file. Sure, I'll receive notifications. Spot pass is not going to matter sometime in the future due to you know uh, 3ds stuff you know, going offline and whatnot, because Nintendo doesn't want people to have fun. Well, then that was quite the opening. Oh, Our final battle. Dang, we have voice acting in this game. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's not much. You're one of us, Robin, and no destiny can change that. Now, let's kill this dastard and be done with it. So, there is a little bit of cursing, but it's not. It's kind of still censored. Okay, a slide guide has appeared on the touchscreen. Okay, one system menu. To open the system menu, move the cursor to an empty space and press the A button. Uh, slide guides present new information. Use the L and R buttons to flip through the pages below once you're ready. Okay. Um, choose bookmark to take a break from the game or guide to view these slides. Okay. You can... Excuse me. You can view these slides again at any time by, by selecting guide from the system menu. Alright. So... So what, wait, what is this? Is it, this is the final battle? What are we... How are we Listen fighting? I'm confused. Robin, we have to get closer. Let's move. Okay, uh, moving units. Press the cursor onto a unit and press the A button. Uh, next, ch select the destination. And so it's just like you know regular standard Fire Emblem. You pre press the guy, move him to a space. Simple as that. So yeah. Right. Okay. Now it's time for Crom. So Crom, uh, we just we'll just we'll move him like right here, and we'll just wait. Uh, Robin, we will move. Go ahead, Robin. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll move him right here. And we'll wait. Now, enemy turn. <laughs> Why do you resist? Okay, now it's enemy phase. And he did absolutely nothing. All right, good. He's almost within reach. Let's move in and strike. Select one of your units and press the A button. Uh, nice. Okay, and then this is just how to do attacking. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. So I know how to do this. So okay, he has the falchion, which is like his main weapon, and the silver sword as like a backup. It seems. There's Crom's stats. He's level 20 right now, I'm, and apparently I'm level 20 too. So I'm a tactician, he's a lord. Interesting, okay. So let's, I can't really go much further, so I have to just kind of wait there. Robin, however, is maybe, it may be risky, but we're gonna, we're gonna fight him. Let's do it. Okay, so let me see. Um, what the frick is a Grima's Truth? So I can change my weapon with X and Y. Uh, Thoron has worse attack but better hit percentage and a better crit never mind steel sword is the one Ooh, steel sword is probably better the issue is that i don't know exactly what is you know what's this guy's thing because i know usually with fire emblem it's like sword beats axe axe beats the lance and lance beats sword it's like a triangle kind of thing in this game though i don't know what it is because we have like magic now so that makes me very very confused um, I guess... Should I just go magic with him? 
Sure, let's have a magic battle. Let's do it. Let's see how this goes. I'm kind of scared, but we'll see. Gah, <laughs> fools. Struggle all you want. You cannot unwrite what is already written. I don't know who this dude is, but... So do we fight? Nice hit, Robin. Nice hit. Ooh, I did a bit. That did a bit. A good chunk. Okay, he did absolutely nothing. All right, now it's time for Krom to attack, so we're going to double up on this dude. So, um, okay. So the Silver Sword has better attack and better hit. Wow, the, the, the Silver Sword is actually technically the better one to go with. What the heck? I guess let's go with Silver Sword. I don't know how the Falchion is his main weapon when the Silver Sword is technically a better weapon. Nice hit, almost killed. Krom tank it. He missed? Oh, what a fool. What a fool. Okay, so Robin, you, you got it. You freaking got it. Easy money. Come on, Robin. Just kill him already. Beautiful. I love the, the, the I guess, the in-game battle sequences that this game has. Like, I love how the GBA games are, but, like, this game is insane. They really stepped up their mark uh, with these more recent Fire Emblem games. I'm sorry. Did Crom just die? What? Um. Huh. Okay. The see, this makes me interested. So, so apparently, the blast that Robin, you know, in endured was like bad. Crom, we have to do something. What do you propose we do? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I see you're awake now. Hey there. There are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. Give me your hand. Fam, you don't even know how freaking confused I am right now. So, Crom's good? I'm, I'm so confused. Thank you, Crom. Oh, so Robin even has voice acting. Okay. That's actually pretty dope. Looks like they put some, uh, some, some effort into this. Ah, then you know who I am. Huh? No, actually, I, it's strange, your name, it just came to me. Hmm, hmm how curious. Tell me, what's your name? What brings you here? Um, My name is, it's, hmm? What? You don't even know, you don't know your own name? I'm not sure if... I'm sorry, but where am I exactly? What? Hey, I've heard this! It's called Amnesia! Explain. <laughs> Explain! <laughs> it's called a load of Pegasus dung. Were to believe you remember Miller's name, my lord's name, but not your own? Huh? But it's the truth! <sighs> what if it is true, Frederick? We can't just leave him here, alone and confused. What sort of shepherds would we be then? Right. Just the same, my lord. I must emphasize caution. I would not do I would not do to let a wolf into our flock. Right. Right then. We'll take him back to town and sort us out there. Huh? Wait just one moment. Do I have a say in this? <sighs> Peace, friend. 
I promise we'll hear all you have to say back in town. Now come. This story is, is so confusing. I need to know what exactly is happening, because I don't know, like, anything about this game. I only know, like, a lot of the characters, but, like, when it comes to the story itself, I'm insanely confused. What will you do with me? Am I to be a prisoner? <laughs> You'll be free to go once we establish you no know, enemy of Elise. Huh? Is that where we are? Elise? Ah. You never heard the Hello Dome? Ha, huh, someone paid this actor. He plays, he plays quite the fool. The, the furrowed brow is especially convincing. <laughs> Frederick, please. This land is known as the Halodome of Elise. Our ruler, Emerin, is called the Exalt. I suppose proper introductions are in order. My name is Krom, but then you knew that already. The delicate one here, the delicate one here is my sister, Lisa. I am not delicate. <laughs> Ignore my brother, please. He can be thick sometimes. But you're lucky the shepherds found you. Brigands would have been would have been a rude awakening. Ah, rude awakening. It's, it's funny. Shepherds, you tend sheep in full armor. Hmm. <laughs> it's a dangerous job. Just ask Frederick the Warrior. Right. A title I shall wear of pride. Gods forbid one of us keeps an appropriate level of caution. I have every wish to trust you, stranger. My station mandates otherwise. Yeah. I understand, sir. I would do no less myself. My name is Robin. I just remember that. How odd. I suppose that's one mystery solved. Really? Robin, is that foreign? Oh well, we can discuss it later. We're almost to town. Once we- Krom! Krom, look! The town! Oh no, are we, are we under attack now? Are we gonna have to fight some fools? I think we might have to fight some fools. I guess we're back in- we're, we're getting into it? Maybe? I don't know. Depends on what this cutscene has to entail. So far it doesn't look all that good. I didn't see any enemies. Damn it. The town is ablaze. Those blasted brigands, no doubt. Frederick, Lisa, quickly! My lord. What about him? <clears throat> Unless he's on fire as well, it can wait. Of course. Aptly put, my lord. <clears throat> Let's go already! Oh. What about. <clears throat> So I guess I'm all by myself now. Or or I can just join him, you know. That's that's that. Okay, so we are fighting people. Garrick! Guahaha! Get to it, lads! Grab anything shiny and put the rest to the torch. We got an we got an example to set for these Elysian types. Ain't that right, lass? <laughs> stay, stay away from me! Please, someone help! Crom! We have to stop them! God. Don't worry! After today, these bandits will be, won't be bothering anyone ever again. So it gets time to battle? Or just a moment? Wait! Robin, you followed us! Why? I, I'm not certain myself. But I'm armed, and I know my way around the fights, if you'll have me. Good. Of course. Strength in numbers, just stay close. Alright, victory. Rout the enemy, so it's time to fight! Shall we then? Remember, Robin, we face practice thieves and murderers. They will grant us no quarter. It's kill or be killed. All right, losing units. So yeah, if you, if an opponent, if one of your guys drops to zero, drops to zero HP, then they will not be able to fight anymore. And following units are lost forever in classic mode and for the duration of the battle in casual. If either Krom or Robin falls in battle, it's game over. Since you know they're like the two main guys, so you gotta be really careful about those two. All right, so let's move. Okay, so he has a falchion, his main weapon, and a rapier. Okay, and a vulnerary. Vulnerary, if you guys remember, is like the healing item type thing. So let's move Rob, not Robin. Uh, let's move Krom over here. To strike from the back. Um. Okay. So a bronze sword. Before you launch an attack, an on-screen forecast tells you how to plan play out. Uh, to change weapons. Okay. Notice how the forecast changes. Who has the upper hand? Oh, so it has. To, it says like who has the upper hand and whatnot. Not always, but sometimes it will. Oh, so the times two thing is like, is if you have an upper hand or whatnot. That is good to know. I think I might go with the rapier because it has better hit percentage and it has better crit. So let's do it. All right, Krom, let's do it. Fight to the death. What? What's happening? Zing! He had a crit. That was quick. 
Dang, we like just started, he already got a crit. Okay, I respect it. Um, Krom, okay, Krom has to chill now. Let's get, let's get Frederick behind here. Have him, have him just chill for a second. Uh, okay, yeah, we can get that out of the way. So he has a lance. Uh, she's, oh, she's the healer. Okay, so we'll see who's delicate. I may not be able to attack like Krom, but when will you get injured? But when you get injured, I'll be the one stitching your bones back together. Care of my trusty staff. You must tell me where to go, Robin. All right, you chill with Frederick. Just no, you can't chill with Frederick. Um, I guess vibe right over here and just wait. Robin, so Robin, I see you wear a sword. Is it? Wait, is that a tome? You know magic? I believe so. I suppose that you check. You believe so? Perhaps I'll just keep a few paces behind you for the time being. No, I, I can control it. I'm sure. Now, how does this work again? Ah, yes. Okay, combat. So now we got, we can use tomes. Uh, tomes allow you to use magic uh, to attack enemies with magic from two spaces away. Well, that's good to know. That's really good to know. You can use magic against adjacent enemies as well. Okay. So I could probably have Robin chill right here, and we'll just have him wait. Now, enemy phase. Oh, she's gonna, he's gonna attack uh, freaking Lisa. Uh oh. Uh, Lisa. Uh, don't don't die. Don't die, that'd be- that'd be fantastic. Is anyone hurt? It'd be foolish to leave a wound untreated. Oh. Indeed. Timely use of a staff or a vulnerary should prevent the worst. And then healing, yeah, we use items. And then, uh, units with sta staves? Can heal allies within range, blue, green spaces, use- choose staff. Select the units to heal, press the e button again. Okay. So that's good to know. Um, since Frederick's just right here, he might as well just attack. You know, why the heck not? So I have a lance, uh, which is... Hold up. No, it's not a times two. It's whatever that um, the arrows are. Since the guy has an axe, he has a much uh, he has an upper hand against me. We'll risk it. We'll definitely risk it. Come on. Come on. Nice. The instant kill doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Good job, Frederick. You've done well. All right, so Frederick, you relax. Uh, Robin, let's go ahead and do some battling. Hold up, actually, move right here because now I can attack with uh, my with my tome. So I have the wind. No, he has the wind. Okay, uh, and I have thunder. Okay, good to know. Let's do it. Let's fight a full of magic battle, I guess. Come on, Robin, hit. Good damage. Okay, that wasn't much, but. That was like one damage. Freddy, dude, what are you trying to do for me? What are you trying to do to me? You can't do jack. All right, uh, Krom, help me out with this dude. All right, attack. Uh, so nothing. No one really has like a, a bigger upper hand. I'll just go with the falchion. Why the heck not? It's a it's a standard weapon. Oh, we team up. That's new. I did not expect that to be a um. A gimmick but that's cool as heck okay um Lisa or is her name at Lisa uh, yeah I think it's Lisa it is okay uh, you chillax just wait okay enemy phase they did absolutely nothing so can I see where everyone is okay so they're up there are there guys to the right there's no one to the right so I guess it's just time to keep continue going on forward so with us Robin hmm it's strange here in the battlefield, I can, well, I can see things. What? See things? Like what? Hmm. The enemy's strength, their weaponry, the flow of battle? I must have studied this somewhere. Really? So, you're saying you can size up the enemy at a glance? Yeah. Yes, it would seem so. And perhaps more, if I apply myself. So how about a touch, you can use a touch screen to call up all kinds of useful information. Touch your stats, weapons, and skills to find out what they do. The buttons on the right to let you toggle between multiple views. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Let me see. Wait, full? To nothing. I'm confused. Okay. It's, oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm kind of seeing it. Okay. We'll just keep it at full for now. We'll leave that at that. Um, Let's move Krom. Oh, Krom can't move? Oh no, no, Krom can't move, I'm, I'm being stupid. Krom, you move over here, and just chillax. Robin, you go help out my guy, be like, 
be like right behind him. Uh, Lisa, you chill as just a healer. And Frederick, we're gonna move you. We're gonna move you up here. Get you a little closer. All right, enemy face. So gonna, okay, he's gonna attack Robin. Or is he? Hold on, I get a boost from the team up. That's kind of dope, but that's the case. With nice damage. Okay, so if it's a team up, uh, you can't have both people attack. Only one can attack, and it's based on the one who like initiates the battle or you know has the battle initiate upon initiated upon them. Are you a ride, Robin? Don't rush to danger. Yeah. I'm fine, Crom. Don't worry. <laughs> You've lent us your strength, and that makes you a friend. Having an ally by my side gives me courage. Thank you, but I think there's more to it than that. Hmm? What do you mean? Um, I believe there's a tactical advantage to fighting side by side. Oh, he, yeah, he, I, I see where you're going with this. It's fuzzy. Wait, yes. Working in pairs improves strength, defense, speed. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. Okay, so this is the whole team up uh, thing. When you place two players in adjacent spaces, they will support each other in battle. Not only will this boost your uh, unit's stats, but a second unit may also block and. Oh! So the second unit may block enemy attacks or strike the or, or strike a blow. That is very, very good to know. I like that a lot. Um, what does this guy have? He has a sword. Lance is good against swords, so I'm actually gonna have um my guy Frederick attack. And nice kill, nice kill. These guys don't really do much. Like, I mean the uh, the opponents, which is very, very useful. Um, okay, I guess, uh, Krom, go up and fight against this guy. Garrick, the hand man. Okay, so I have the upper hand because he's using an axe. That is very, very good to know. Alright, let's do it. Here, sheepy sheepy, come to the slaughter. What the heck does he have on his head? What kind of a helmet is that? Come on, mess him up, Krom, mess him up. Ooh, you missed, what a fool. One thing I kind of hate about Fire Emblem is that... There's only one turn of attack, and you initiate a battle, each, uh, player, I guess, gets one hit off, and that's that. You have to then initiate another battle in order to continue. It's kind of stupid. It kind of is, but... <sighs> is it... Oh, I can attack? Oh, yeah! That's cool! Alright, so, none of us have the upper hand. It's fine. Uh, Krom's gonna help me out a tiny bit. Hit plus ten, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Nice damage, only three H. Woo! So I'm freaking fling that axe at me? That was kind of frightening. Um, can my... Okay, Frederick can't really do much. Lisa, however, can. Staff? Oh! We heal Robin? Let's heal Robin. Let's, uh, let's, let's show this off, I guess. Oh, so if Lisa heals, then uh, she can gain experience from that that's the, her basically her only way of getting experience it's kind of stupid but it's whatever i'm trying to be more ladylike but i think i might have pulled a pinky muscle okay thanks for that all right now enemy face is probably gonna he's gonna attack robin okay well appreciate that did some damage but it's fine it's only five and that's gonna kill easy money Buark. okay wow i actually almost leveled up I think it's like 100 XP to level up. Might like change as you progress. Alright, stats turns- okay, turns 4, heroes, Robin, and Krom. So I guess that's gonna be that- I don't think it really matters at the end, it's just like- It's a nice fun stats to look at. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Looking for the town, we are close by. But holy wow, Robin, you are incredible! Swords, sorcery, and tactics! Is there anything you can't do? You're certainly no helpless victim, that much is for sure. Right. Indeed. Perhaps you might even be capable of an explanation for how you came here. Um. I understand your skepticism, Sir Frederick. I, and I cannot explain why only some knowledge has returned to me. But please, believe me. I have shared all that I know. Hmm. You fought to save Elysian lives. My heart says that's enough. My lord. In your mind, my lord, will you not heed its counsel as well? It's all right. Frederick, the Shepherds could use someone with Robin's talents. We, we've brigands, we've brigands and unruly neighbors, all looking to bloody our soil. Would you really have us lose such an able tactician? Besides, I believe the story, odd as it may seem. Oh. Th thank you, Krom. Listen. So how about it? Will you join us, Robin? Yeah. I would be honored. 
So I guess Robin joins the squad now. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. So I guess town saved and whatnot. Do we get anything from it? It's probably not. Did you notice, my lord? The begin spoke of a Plegian accent. Plegian? What's that? Plegian is Elise's westerly neighbor. They send small bands to our territory, hoping to instigate a war. I was thinking initiate, but I guess that wasn't the case. And it's the poor townsfolk who suffer, totally innocent and totally helpless. Really? They do ha they do have us, milady. Shepherds to protect the sheep. Do not be swept up in your anger. It will cloud your judgment. I know, I know. Right. Don't worry. We'll get used to all this. <sighs> My lord, please! You must stay tonight. We are simple folk of simple means, but we will gladly toast your valor with a feast. My thanks. A most generous offer, sir, and know that your hospita hospitality will be grand. I'm afraid we must hurry back to Ilistal. Dark meat only for me, medium well, and no salt in the soup. I simply- wait, what? We're not staying? But Frederick, it's nearly dark. When night falls, we'll camp. Eat off the land, make our bed of twigs and the like. I believe you mentioned you would be getting used to this. What? Frederick! Sometimes I hate you. Hmm. Mm, you've you've quite the stern lieutenant there. Yeah, well, stern is one name for it. I can think of a few others. <sighs> Frederick only smiles when he's about to bring down the axe. Yeah. Duly noted. <sighs> Do you realize I am still pres present? <laughs> oh, we realize. My lord remains as amusing as ever. Now then, shall we be going? Hmm. Alright, alright. Ready to go, Robin? The capital isn't far. That's interesting. Okay. So, uh, I guess that's the prologue. Or, th yeah, that, that was the prologue. So now we're on chapter one. Whatever that may be. Okay, so now we're on the world map, which is very interesting. If we, uh, press X, we can go to... Oh, we can save right here, so that's really good to know. Um, survey... Oh, you can survey the land. Oh, dang, this is a big map. Well, we can't really go far, but that's what we got so far. Um, and then head to objective. So I guess just head to objective. We, uh, shutting things off now. I think I might as well, um, end it off here. So we got, we, you know, we got a, a good idea of, you know, how the game progresses. It isn't as long as, you know, the Blazing Blade first play, for example, but I'm trying not to make these, uh, RPG first place too long. If they do be, end up being long, then that's how it be. However, you know, I just want to get some action in, see how the game works, and that's about that. So, yeah, RPGs, if you guys know, they start off a little slow, but then, you know, as you progress through the game, they then pick up more and more. That's why these first plays are going to be a lot, very dialogue heavy um, and not too much fighting, but eh, it's still. It's a nice way, it's, I'm still able to see the game for myself for the very first time and have you guys see my reaction to it for the very first time. So and that's all that really matters. So with that being said and done, I guess we watch today's first play of Fire Emblem Awakening. I am, uh, I'm, I would be very, very down to continue playing this game. I definitely will. I actually do, as, as, at some point, am thinking about bringing Fire Emblem to the channel, like as Let's Plays. I, I just have to like figure out when, see how scheduling goes and whatnot. But I'll be definitely down to do the series, like as full on series. So yeah, look forward to that, whatever, whenever that may come in the future. Um, but with that all being said and done, uh, subscribe, like, and of course, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know down in the, in the comments if, uh, if this game is one, this is one that you would enjoy yourself, if this is one that you would pick up for yourself, or that you would, you know, like seeing other people play, just let me know what your opinions on the game. Um, I think it's really fun. So far, I think this is probably the best Fire Emblem game I've played. So far. Um, I wouldn't count Warriors because that's not really a mainline Fire Emblem game, it's, it's more side if anything. Um, but out of the ones that I have played, this one has, seems to be the best so far. I do like this one a lot. So I, I let's see how um, how like future ones go. I hear Three Houses is really good and I'm curious how the Fate is going to be. Oh yeah, also the Fate's first play is going to be coming out at some point because I know I got those recently. Um, so expect those at some point. Yeah, expect a lot of content. Anyways, uh, social media, including the Twitch, the uh, second channel, and uh, music channel. 
Those are all down below in the description as well. Everything's down there. Down there. Go check it out for yourself. Uh, especially come to the Twitch because uh, I, th I think at this point I've returned to streaming. I'm streaming pretty frequently. I think every uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, hey. You guys want to see popping in a stream 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time? Definitely go and check it out. Have a good time. Uh, but yeah, so if, so I don't continue dragging out this outro anymore. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Pop starts out.